Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support of the Shock Mian Amendment. Uh, in recent years, the federal government has taken more and more control over deciding what goals and curriculum best fit our kids' needs. However, as all Americans know, education policy should be set by those that know the community best — parents, teachers, and local school board members. That's exactly what this amendment does. Our amendment has three main objectives. It restores flexibility in crafting curriculum education for our children. The Department of Education will be restricted in promulgating any rules and regulations that contradict or create costly burdens on local school districts without an act of Congress. Second, it strengthens the process for input by parents. And lastly, it requires that the Department of Education provide an annual report to Congress on how any policies affect local school districts. This enables local school boards to have the ability to craft policies in coordination with the communities they serve. This amendment is vitally important to our communities. From Pennsylvania to Illinois and beyond, the parents, the students, and the school board members that they elect are truly the experts in education, not Washington bureaucrats. I urge my colleagues to support the Shock Mian Amendment. And Mr. Speaker, I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves his time. The gentleman from